What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we added a train station to the side of the computer building for the sole purpose because we need to grab the oil from the golden coast because as we know in update 6 the spire coast is getting a change and it's getting a drastic one. So to connect both train stations, we made this pretty large bridge right here. This allowed our trains to cross with ease and just be a bit more efficient. But it's time to step up our power grid and then use fuel with the oil that we're bringing over. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do today is I want to start taking these pipes across this bridge down here to the oil rig so it can be refined in the refineries to make heavy residue oil and then on to make fuel. So we're going to take the pipes along here, I think, and then we're going to take them 45 degrees through this little entrance here and then dropping it into some pipeline holes in the floor here and taking it down onto that level where I've kind of scienced if that's where I want them to go or I was going to put them on the side. I don't know. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Because you guys have been requesting that you want to see more of the design setup. You want me to just slow down a tiny bit through the designing phases. And if that's what you guys want, I'll be more than happy to do that. So that means you can see how I designed some of these buildings. And there's not like large jumps between segments and all that kind of stuff. There will still be some for every now and again. But I will show you like how my thinking process works in what I do within each episode which does mean the episodes are going to be a little bit quicker to make and also there's going to be more episodes within the season um before we move on to season two or are we going to do a season two who knows but anyway let's start getting these pipes and let's start taking them around this corner so we can start moving all this oil and start producing some fuel because we need to really get this up before update six drops and that might be dropping either in the next couple of weeks, because they did say early um, July, right? Uh, June, sorry. Oh, not July. June. So it's early June. So it's either going to be the 7th or it's going to be the 14th. Possibly, unless it gets held back. But we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so I think that works well. And it's not clipping here. So that's a bonus. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out where... Where, where, where? We want to take it down. I kind of put them there, but I think that's going to be way too close. I think the best bet would be, if that's coming in here, is just to get the holes down first. So it's going to be in between these two foundations. So we're going to go with a pipe floor hole, basically on the line of that one. And then, oh, actually, would it be easier? For, yeah, it'd be easier for me to put it into that one. Like that. And then we can go from here. You can go straight into there. See, this is the only thing I don't like about the floor holes like this. There is a way you can kind of fix it. It's just a pain in the butt. But it kind of creates like a little bit of a... It doesn't go up entirely, you know? So we're going to bring this down here. Oh, no. Come on, be nice to me. You want to be nice to me? We could go with noodle. Should we noodle it? I think we, we could noodle that. It's fine. Okay. So that's now the pipes completed there. Now we just need to pull them down. I just need to find a way to get down and I can just drop. I forgot I had the jetpack. It's been like a week since I've started. Well, I finished the last episode. So because we've been doing the hydrogenia stuff. So I need this to now come down. I don't think we're going to have enough room uh, or length to bring it all the way down. <gasps> it does. Perfect. Okay. So we just need to try and find the angle which... If that's there, and it's onto... Oh, this belt. Don't play around with my belt. Actually, hold on. Let me just do that. That'll be easier. So let's pull the belt from here. So I'm guessing it's landing around there. So then if we was to get a stackable conveyor pole, go along twice, place, fingers crossed, that is perfect. And... God damn, I'm good. I need to get some more copper sheets before I continue this. Otherwise, we're going to run out. So let's put these plastic back in now. And then I can remove these. And then that's that done. Plastic is up and moving and grooving. And then we can just grab these pipes, start taking them along, and we'll get them done. Because you guys don't need to see this bit. So we are going to skip this bit. Okay? Okay? 
Good. Okay, so there we go. I've now placed down the three pipes that I needed to do to bring to the oil rig. But I've also placed three refineries. And you must be wondering, why three refineries? Because we have three lines here, but we also have seven lines over there, right? So... If these uh, three individual lines are going to go into that line of refineries and one of those ones into there and then another one into there, all of them need to have their own dedicated lines as well. So that's why if I have estimated this right, I should be able to fit seven more refinery lines all the way up until that end one right there. Fingers crossed. If not, well, in a later episode, I'll be kicking myself and I have to redo things because things are off by a millimeter or whatever. Okay, but I've also done something else. I have downloaded a mod. Yes, a mod. Another one that goes with empty hands. And what the mod is, is I've unlocked all alternate recipes. And the reason I've done that is because for recording purposes, I don't want to have to put a hard drive down here and just keep putting hard drives in it and going back to it every now and again. Or placing a mam down to, uh, to see what I've unlocked. Uh, and then not getting the recipes I have to continue the episode because I started this episode and I was doing that and it took me three hours and I didn't have the recipe I needed. And I was like, okay, this is taking a little bit of time that I could be working on another video or even another satisfactory video. And it was just taking a little bit of the mickey. So I've installed the mod and it allows to me to see all the alternate recipes. That's even the stuff that I haven't unlocked, okay? So you will see these. We just gotta ignore this. That's the aluminium stuff. We're gonna we're gonna totally ignore that. We can do all of this stuff now and all that kind of stuff. So I have placed these three down because we're going to be using the heavy oil residue recipe, which is this one. And as you can see, it requires 30 crude oil. It's going to output 40 heavy residue oil and 20 polymer resin. And each line of these is carrying 600 cubic meters, which means if we times 30 by 20, that will give us 600 cubic meters of liquid. So we need to put down an additional 19 refineries on this row right here. And uh, all the way back. And then we need to do this for the other ones as well. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Also save. <laughs> Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And as I stated way back when I designed the oil oil rig the reason i couldn't put the the legs down over here because i didn't know how far i'm gonna go back and it's a good job i did because we have no walking room back here so it does mean i can push this back and we do have to send the resin as well from here so if we have let me just double check this uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so twenty going to be going in here 20 times 30 is going to be 600 because if you know for those you know who have difficulty doing maths 20 uh 10 times uh 30 is 300 and obviously times that by another time and you got 600 so now uh now we've done that i need to do it to these two as well uh, and get them done and then i need to start placing the pipes and everything like that so then we can get the heavy residue oil made and we can start sending the resin that we're going to be making as a byproduct in this recipe to elsewhere. So we can start making that into plastic and rubber. Hence the reason we're going to be removing that. Because we'll have these doing what they need to do. So let me place the rest of these down and then I'll get back to you. Come on. Come on. Can I get them all? Can I get them all? Can I get them all? <laughs> yes we did oh no 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 bit spit you spoon so we're using this recipe right so that's 20 so this is all these are outputting 20 so that's 400 going along this line that's fine but then i come across a problem the heavy residue oil is outputting 40 which means because we have a capacity of 600 line, uh, 600 per pipe, we can only fill 15 refineries to the... 50, oh, no. 15 refineries are basically going to fill uh, one more two pipes, which means I need to fit... There needs to be four pipes coming into this... Oh. 
especially out the outputs. And I need to try and avoid these belts. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, we need to science, we need to science. So let's say, for example, this is where my pipes are going to go, right? This is my pipes that are going to be full. So let's just put some, some down here. I'm just going to put these here for now, like this. And then you there, like that. Don't worry, I'm going to remove them. Don't bloody panic. Let me stack these on top. Because this is where my outputs are coming to come out of my, with my heavy residue oil, right? And then they're going to go up onto the next floor. So I need to connect, get more two pipes, connect these up. So let's say, for example, these last five refineries here is going to be the ones that I need additional lines. So these are coming along here. If I can put this along here like this, can I grab the pipeline junction, put this on an angle? Uh, wait, put that on an angle? Is the conveyor belt going to get in the way? And then I just get that one and put it, say, for example, there. Right, that's them connected. So then I need a Mark 1 pipe. Wait, is that clipping through? The it's not. And then I can put that there. And that, wait, so what if down there with this junction being on this line? Oh, no. Oh, wait, is it because of you? Can I, can I, there we go. So can I put a Mark 1 pipe there, but also have the belt come through here? You know, so I, I, I'll take that any day. I'll, I will take that any day. It's, it's coming through the side, but it's a static. Ah, but it's a static object. We'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. 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 Okay, I panicked a little bit then. So I am not a spoon. I am a genius. Like I said at the end of the episode, I'm just an accidental genius. So then these will be the purple. Actually, I should really go into my customizer, go into here, and then edit. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Bits, bits, bits. Go into here. Right click. Hello. Right click. Make them pipes. So all my pipes will now become purple because that is heavy residue oil color. Right? So then they will be this color. So we got a good old purple pipe for the heavy residue oil. The question I need to think about to my... Well, I need to answer now is... What are we going to do with these not clipping through? Do I just remove that one and remove that one? And then, uh, maybe go into uh, logistics and add a conveyor pole here. So it looks like that's holding these up, maybe. Because that's, I don't know. I think this is the only clear way without me removing everything and then redoing everything. I think this is the only vital way of doing it that's gonna make it look decent you know but then i can even remove these because the pipes are going to be connected anyway so these won't be here okay we could do that we could do that right let's get the pipes and the refineries done uh, the, pipe, the, the pipes done so i need to do this on this one the next one and the one down there and then that should be all the heavy residue oil done and bada bing bada bosh we've now added the pipes the cables and the conveyor belts so now that we've both lines completed and the oil lines hooked up, the recipe's set up, the only thing left to do is actually hook up these lines to these. And I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do that because these are all going to be nice and tidy coming down here and going in. But then these ones are kind of off center a tiny bit. So I'm just debating it to bring them this way and then hook up and then just kind of take it across. I think that's the only thing I'm going to do. Because uh, these are going to go straight up onto the next floor. And we do need to design the next floor where all the packages and more refineries are going. So let's just kind of get these uh, over here now. And kind of get you lined up to come this way. Take you up by two. And then I'll you along. And then we're going to get this one directly going straight in. Uh, so say from here. And then you're going in there. And then, oh, these should technically be black. So let me just... Right click on you, change you to pipes, put this up here. These should now be black. And bada bing, bada bosh. Boom. So now I just need to connect these up to 
these two pipes here and then that is all set up for that and there we have it the roar of the machines is getting things moving so we can see that the crude oil is coming in it's making polymer resin and it's also making heavy oil residue so if we go around here we can see the pipes are starting to fill up we can start to see the resin going that way which is the direction we want it to because with the size of this platform at the minute it's pretty large right so we have We've got three lines here. We need to do another seven lines there, but that can't happen until update six comes. So we're going to leave this here for, for now because it's making me my fuel for my jetpack. So what we need to look at now is, and possibly plan ahead, is what are we going to do with this resin? Are we going to utilize it in this area here? I'm going to guess so, unless we actually shrink the oil rig, which I don't want to do because I know the second floor is going to be a lot bigger. Right, so as you can see, I've now added a tabletop to the top of the refineries. So yeah, this top floor up here is going to be getting utilized for these uh, new refineries that we need to put upstairs with the recipe for diluted packaged fuel. So the heavy residue oil is going to go along. It's then going to go up into the refineries up there, and then it's going to make diluted packaged fuel. But that recipe also needs bottled water. And for us to make bottled water, we need canisters. But for canisters, we need plastic. Hence where this resin come is going to get used for. So I think the refineries we're going to put around here, uh, and the resin's going to go make plastic. That plastic is then going to make canisters. Them canisters are going to get sent upstairs to the machines that we're going to put up there. And then once them machines have got enough canisters, we're going to cut the recipe down here so we don't make any more canisters because we're going to create a loop where it gets utilized over and over and over again so we don't have to constantly keep making uh, canisters. So the first thing I want to do now is I want to start bringing these lines over here and we have to make sure we've got room for 10 lines. So we're going to be put in, so that's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is going to be all the conveyor belts that are going to be coming out for all 10 of these lines. Obviously, seven are going to get added when update six comes out. So then that's one line coming from here. We're going to bring out another line from here, which I need to actually remove that and remove that. You're not needed there anymore. And then we can bring this one out and bring you to there. And then bring you to bah, bah, boom there. And then we can just attach these up just like that. And now we need to create the lines and we have to think about water here as well because if we put down a uh, refinery and let's line it up with these refineries. So if we go to there and bring it back to here, the actual recipe itself requires 20 water. And if we're utilizing 60 polymer resin and we're making 400 in one single line, well, 400 divided by... 60 so 400 divided by 60 should be like 6.66667 or something six yeah 6.66667 so that's going to be six machines to make the plastic and that's going to mean we're going to need a 120 water so if we put six in a line so two three four five six that's going to be 120 water, and that is going to be all them resin being used. But if we add another six to this, and then let's create a, like a little gap here. So you're being just pushed to the half of that one. So let's push you halfway here as well. And then do another six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be then two lines. And that means eventually we'll just need five refinery lines here. So uh, 12 here, 12 there, 12 there, 12 there, and 12 there. Hopefully that fits. We will see. And then I need to put down the splitters that are going to go into each of these. But I need to make sure that when I set these up, it doesn't need to be, yeah, it needs to be more for. Um, when I set these up, I've got enough room for the water pipes. Uh, to come down so if we was to bring our water pipe from over the edge there and then we can bring it straight across here which is only going to be need to be a mark one pipe to be honest uh we can bring that straight over and then it can be split off 
to each of the machines where this belt here is going to go into this line. This belt is then going to go into that line over there, but this pipe can continue all the way through and split to a mall because we only need 240 water. So we just need to put your Mark 1 belts in here and then Mark, well, Mark 4 is down there. Do these. Make sure that my pipes are set to blue. Change them to pipes and then quickly color these because these are going to be water pipes now. We do need to do the water setup as well. So we need to get to that in a minute, but we're going to turn these, uh, th this line here. I'm just going to push you back by one and then turn you into that corner. And then we're going to take you down here. All the way down. And then we're going to get ourselves another merger, well, another splitter. Align this back up. It's just that this one's going to turn into that splitter. So we're going to push you down here. And then you're going to go into there. Like that. And then this other one is going to go down there. So then I'll get all this completed. Because with the power of editing, you guys don't need to see all that. Because I've just explained it. And there we go. All the inputs are now done. And so are the outputs. But I've also mapped out where the rest of the refineries are going to go. But you must be wondering, why is there so many on the left? That's because this whole section right here is to make rubber. And as you can see, polymer resin only takes 40 instead of 60. So we can actually do a line of 10 for that. But they take a little bit more water. So when it comes to the water side and we start working on the rubber, we will then give it Mark two pipes. However, these six sections right here are just for plastic. But also, you can now see as well that we have water flowing. That's because just behind the rig, I've set up some water pumps that are going straight up to the oil rig. So these four right here are going to go to the copper because the copper is requiring more water. And then these three right here are going to the plastic. I have then run the pipes underneath the water. They then come out and then go upwards towards the edge, go along and then go to their designated lines, meaning that plastic can start being produced. Okay, so now that we're making plastic, um, all is fine and dandy, but we have a little bit of a problem on this side because all of these refineries are making resin and heavy residue fuel. And because the refineries aren't sending the residue fuel anywhere. It's just sitting in the line, which does mean that these machines will fill up and stop making polymer resin. So, for example, if I was to full uh, click on full pipe network, flush it, it will then start making more because we're, we're reducing everything that we just put in the pipes. It will start making resin again. So what we need to do to keep these kind of active temporarily is just we're just going to put down some fluid storage buffers over here well yeah fluid buffers right here and i'm going to kind of line these up i'm going to put one on there and we're just going to get this one as well and we're going to put two right here like i said this is just a temporary fix uh just so we can kind of get a little bit of canisters going until we actually send this heavy residue fuel upstairs to the refineries but that is a lot more work that we need to do so what i'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these pipes and it's going to look a little spaghetti, okay? It's going to look a little... Don't judge me, but don't judge. I know some of you would be judging right now. And then I'm going to grab you and just put you straight into that one. Hopefully that reaches. I'm going to guess not. Hopefully it's got enough head lift. Just so I can kind of do that. And then it goes into the storage. And then what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to grab myself a pipe well actually i'm going to grab myself you and then a pipe i'll go with a mark ii just because it holds more and then you into there you into there and then i'm just going to put a pipeline junction here and a pipeline junction there and then grab you and put you in there as well and you and you in there as well because that's a little chaotic chaotic so like bear with me but what this is gonna do is gonna allow me because these lines are all connected now i can just click here full pipe network and it's gonna remove everything in every one of these lines now so i don't have to go to them all i can just go up to this junction right here and just go full pipe network flush it it's gonna flush it's gonna empty all them canisters empty all them pipes empty all them pipes and that's it 
So it makes my life a lot easier instead of me going around to each individual pipe and doing that or each individual fluid buffer. So yeah, that is that done. So now I need to work out what we're going to do with these um, canisters. So this is making 33.3. .3, and the reason that's overclocked, right, is to uh, compensate the additional one that we needed to put down. Because remember, we needed to put like, was it 6.66667? So this one is overclocked to give, you know, an additional 66.6667. So that's doing that. So that means that one's giving me 33. That end one's giving me 33. The rest are giving me 20, which should be 266.66667. So then if I go into here and wait, actually, uh, constructor needs, is it 30? Was it 30? 30, right? 30 plastic. Okay. So that means 260 divided by 30 is going to be 8.66666667. So we need to put down technically eight uh, constructors and then we'll split all these down so if we just go from here then we'll just put eight down so one two three four five six seven eight so that's that done and then this one here we're going to get you we're going to put you down to canisters and then i want to overclock you uh an additional 166.66667 it was that one wasn't it yeah, 6.6667. So now that we've done that, I just need to put down the splitters on all of these lines. So we're just going to get conveyor splitter and bang, bang, billy bosh, billy bang, bang, boo, whatever that was. So then these all the way along here, mark one belt on the input and then a mark three belt running down the sp Ah, no, the spine. Damn it. Sp oh my God, I made a donut. I made a donut. So there wasn't as smooth as doing the refineries but we got there so that's that done now we need to go on the opposite side and grab ourselves a actually hold on so 60 120 240 uh we need a mark four belt on this so, wait no it's not because you've changed haven't you it's fine it's fine it's fine if we have some backup being it's it's only a temporary thing these are going to get removed it's fine i don't want to see in the comments you're panicking Oh, yeah, Bell is getting too much that it needs to be. <laughs> so we're going to get a merger. We're going to bring this down here. And we're just going to do exactly the same what we did on the input side and just connect all these up. There we go. The canisters are now being created and put into this storage uh, container right here. So that does mean the canisters can now go upstairs and so can the residue fuel. But that does mean we have another big job to do. We have to send that residue fuel up into the refineries upstairs. And we need to send these canisters to the packages that's going to be going in before the refineries to make bottled water. That bottled water then goes into the refineries with the residue fuel to make diluted package fuel. That then creates a uh, packaged fuel, which goes into an unpackager, which the unpackager is going to send the canisters back round to the uh, packager, which is packaging bottled water. And then the fuel goes into pipes, which then goes into a fuel generator. Whew, mind blown. But that is going to be in another episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching and check out my other content right here. If you like this style of video, it's a bit more informative. We are doing something new and it is the core of the game. Now we are in the mid tiers. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.